Hello guys, we're well, here and today we're gonna be playing Game Dev Tycoon. This is actually a really cool game. I played it for a couple of hours yesterday. We're gonna be starting a new company. I like this game a lot. It's a cool simulation. It's quite fun. <clears throat> basically, you create your own game company. It's basically the gist of it. Okay. We're gonna call it Wilerian Games. Wilerian Jemais. Wilder Ice. That's my actual name, people, if you didn't know. Okay. So let's develop our first game. There's no tips or anything, because I, I decided not to put the tips in, because I've already played this. So we're going to start... What is our first game going to be? It's going to be... It's going to be... A, let's make a parody of Skyrim. The Master... Or, a parody of the Elder Scrolls. The Master Tales. Yes! <laughs> Perfect! Uh... Ice Spire. I guess that works. That kind of sounds like a place that would be featured in the Elder Scrolls. Now we have some information kept from our last game. So, like, we know that medieval and RPG go well together. That's a great combo. And, uh, and our RPGs work well on PC. So, yeah. It's just information that I've unlocked before. It's nothing special, but it's kind of helpful. 2D graphics, of course. So this is basically like it goes for 30 years of different gaming generations. So this is like first gen computer and uh, fuck, whatever. The it's G64 in this game because they make parodies of all the different, like, consoles and things that you can play on, but, like, uh, so what would that be the equivalent of? Fuck. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> that was, that was actually, like, before my time in the generation of gaming. Okay, dialogues and level design are very important for RPGs. Artificial intelligence, not so much. Although we also don't have a custom engine at this point, so it's not like it matters very much anyway. Because we don't have any special things to choose on this side except for right here, which is the basic sounds and stuff. Alright, world design and graphic. Those are quite important for an RPG. Sound, not so much, but we'll still boost it up a little bit. Yeah, this game is really cool one. You can kind of create your own company and go through it and like you can just do some really quirky and dumb stuff if you want to and that's kind of the fun thing about it yeah okay my character has really shit skills at this point so that's like, the crappiest design and technology score ever but whatever <laughs> finish well design is more important in a uh, medieval RPG than technology, so I guess the fact that we have a higher design is good. Alright. I'm happy with that. First reviews were for a newly released game. The Master Tales Ice Spire came in. Oh god. It's gonna be horrible, isn't it? I've seen better. It's not that bad. Medieval RPG is a great combination. I didn't spire it. Okay. Well, fuck you then. Okay. Well, could have been worse. Could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. Wuthering Games is a newcomer in the game industry. Has just released their first game, The Master Tales Ice Spire. The game had a moderate response from reviewers. We're curious from what. We are curious what Wilerian games will deliver in the future. Oh, not bad. Not bad. 
let's do some research. New topic. Vampire. Hell yeah. That's the original new topic, Vampire. I like it. Generate a game report on the Masters of Tales I Aspire. We might as well see what led to the success and what led to the downfall of the game so we can work on it for the next one. Because we're definitely making a sequel to the Masters of Tales I Aspire at some point. Artificial intelligence needs to be not, not, bleh, not, the. Okay, our post-release analysis of the Master Tales Ice Spire is complete and we got the following results. Artificial intelligence seems to not be very important for this kind of game. I already knew that. That was a waste of time. Okay. Uh, let's do some more research, because we can. Pirate games. Hell yes. Let's play some fucking pirate games. Why, why are there ISIS pirates? Do, do a complete fucking ripoff of, uh, of Sid Meier. <laughs> okay. Develop a new game. What are we gonna do? Hmm. A vampire RPG? Oh, fuck yeah. Uh... What is it going to be called? Something with blood. Fuck. Blood. <laughs> I'm not good at naming things. Blood letter, because that kind of sounds cool. Okay, yeah, Vampire RPG. I'm just gonna keep making PC games because that's that's inexpensive, and also I'm, I'm a PC gamer, so it's kind of obvious that I would go for that. <laughs> just love 2D graphics, although that that's like all that was available this time though, so that's understandable. You can't have 3D graphics and like, what would this be? This is before the NES. Fuck. It's a long time ago. Recent market study suggests that over to OG64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer to lower price, greater availability, and, flexi and flexible hardware configuration over other home computers. I don't know what the Govador G64 is supposed to represent. If somebody knows, please tell me, because I have no idea. That was before my time, I think. I could say this might s spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Oh, the, the, the home computer is never going to go away. It just, it never will. Turn the engine up a little bit. Why not? We might as well spend a little bit of extra time on this. Hey, design's going up pretty quick. Ocean intelligence is not quite important, but we might as well boost it up a little bit. We might as well not take it out of the game completely or something. That'd be stupid. Sound is not very important, but we'll keep it in. Like that. Five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, so an invento just came along. That's a home giving console to ever take off, but her. Yeah, so an invento, which is obviously a spin off of Nintendo, is creating a home game console, and that is going to be the TES, a spin off of the NES. I still have an NES somewhere around here. Alright, I, I, 
like what I'm seeing here. Let's see, what do you say? The first series for our newly released game, Blood Letter, came in. And, uh, by the way, you can find this game on Steam. It's about $9.99. It's quite fun. It's good entertainment for the price. So, if you're interested, it's on Steam. I got it yesterday. It's quite fun. I like it. Oh god, this is gonna be horrible, isn't it? it has its moments. Damn it. I didn't inspire her. Is he gonna get the exact same reviews as before? Oh no, I got six! Yes! Oh. Better than the other one. First week. Not bad. Yeah, certainly not bad. Research. New topic, I guess. History. We can make Assassin's Creed. Nah. Might as well research it, though, so we can keep moving up on the uh, research scale. unlocking new genres and such. So the NES is coming out next year, that's what just said. that just said. It's because of the researching topic history. Sorry when if I get like busy with something and I start skipping over notifications. That just kinda of natural is something that happens with me. It's a habit. Generate game report. Let's see what happened with this a little better. Or the game report about it. Might as well because it researches or it increases our research points. It researches. I was about to say it researches our increase points. Okay. Of course, release notes for Blood Letter is complete. We got the following results. Vampire and RPG is a great combination. Fuck yeah. Sound seems to not be very important for this for this type of game. Gameplay seems to be quite important for this type of game. Okay. Cool. So now we know that we're eventually gonna make a sequel. Blood Letter is now off the market. It sold 8,878 units, generating 62,174 dollars in sales. Fuck yeah. Okay. Let's see. Can we do any more research? We can. Prison. Oh, we're making the We're making Endicky's hard time. That's it. It's settled. We're gonna make this shitty, we're gonna make this shitty, like, 2D, like, 8-bit version. <laughs> it's gonna be horrible, but it's gonna be awesome. It's a hard time, it's soft time. Because that's so stupid. But it's awesome. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm just screwing around here. I, I don't know. <laughs> Would it be? I guess it's simulation, prison simulation. PC. Instead of hard time, it's soft time. Yes. You go to prison, you have a soft time. What? No, not a hard time, a soft time. Stories and quests are less are less uh essential in in a simulation games, but engine is very important in a simulation. Little tips, you know. Little stuff to know. Although, I guess a lot of this, if you're a gamer and you know about this kind of stuff, a lot of this stuff is just kind of common sense. Which is why this game was kind of tailored for gamers of, of the genre that you make games in. Like, I play a lot of RPGs. I understand that, uh... I understand the mechanics of what makes an RPG good, because I play a lot of RPGs, which is why I'm good at making RPGs in this game, generally. I mean, I know I've had two RPGs that have generally failed, but still, it, believe in me, please. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll just go all in with that one, because I don't really know what's essential. That's never really been expressed towards me before. What is essential in a simulation for graphics and such? 
Come on. Bring in the bugs. One more, please. Yay! One, two, three, four, five. Done. Alright, 14, 11. New record. Both technology and design. Nice! I leveled up. I'm now level 3, I think. That released the game. We only have $824 left, so we're like... We're, ne we're near in the red for bank account, so let's hope it just doesn't have... Let's just hope it just doesn't be an epic fail. Don't be an epic fail. Don't be an epic fail. Okay. At this moment. Please be six. Damn it. Eh? It's not bad. Bank account is in the red now. Oh, nice. I can go up to 50k. Actually, your bank isn't able to do it your, your account up to 50k. Be careful if your bank account balance is below 50k, you will go bankrupt. Oh, that's nice. I always feel like shelf time and impressed by your talent. I'm an encountering business and we could end with you skills like yours. If you ever if you ever short on cash, just let me know and I'll see if I have some work for you, Jason. Okay. Come on, keep working. Come on. You got it. You idiot. Damn it! You just have to scratch your head. Yeah, okay. Try it again. I mainly do this because it, it gives you research points, so that's really helpful. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Yes. Okay. And also, it gives you a little bit of money. Just a little bit. Still, every bit counts. <clears throat> well, I think we should try and get enough research points to. Uh, make a custom engine. So generate game report on soft time. Then we won't do any more research, we'll just make another game with what we have in store. Prison simulation is a great combination. Dialogue seems to be not important for this type of game. Okay. new game. Uh, let's do another The Master Tales. So it'll be Unclaimed Lands, because I'm lazy and I look like making up another name. <laughs> and this will be Medieval RPG on the PC. <laughs> okay. Soft time is now off the market. It sold 9,545 9, units, generating 66,843 in sales. So it wasn't horrible. Yay. It just takes artificial intelligence way down. <laughs> the AI in this game is just gonna be horrible. Enemies will just be like facing the wrong way. So it's like, hmm. It's pretty much gonna be every RPG before like 2004. Or 2003. Because that's when more more one was released. More more one was pretty bad. In that, in that circumstance, but it was not as bad as previous RPGs. 
The recently released TES home console by Ninvento has proven to be a massive success. Sales numbers have exceeded expectations by far. This one customer says, I love the games that come with the TES and playing for controllers so much more fun than if they on a keyboard. <clears throat> Fuck you then. Uh, oh. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. excited there. Release game. Oh shit. Dang up. <laughs> okay then. Nine? Damn it. Is it gonna be eights all across the board? Yep. I like it though. Best review you've gotten so far. Oh, hell yes. surprised by that. The recent study suggests the increase, increasing variety of gaming devices also creates a market for more specialized games. Some platforms will become, become more popular with younger gamers, while others may cater more to the more mature, mature age groups. So PC games are more catered towards mature age groups as opposed to like the NES or when it comes out like the DS or the game for the Game Boy would be a younger audience, this kind of thing. It's kind of common sense with that, really. Okay. As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups to really make an impact. New research available, target audience. Don't forget creating custom game engines. This will improve your games a lot. Create your. Oh, your custom engine through the action menu once you have researched the custom engine. I'm working on it. First analysis of the Master Tales Unclean Lands is complete and we got the following results. Gameplay seems to be quite important for this type of game. Yes, indeed it is. You can't have an RPG but have horrible gameplay. That's just kind of logic at its finest. Design some game characters. We can afford losing 10k if that if we fail this one, I think. The Master Tales Unclean Lands is now off the market. It sold 25,853 units, generating 1,800 or 100, 180,999 sales. Not bad. You can do it. I believe in you. Okay, no, I don't believe in you anymore. Fuck. Why do you have to scratch your head? Also, I just realized that in game time, he scratched his head for like five days. Damn. Alright, fine contract work. We're probably gonna fail this one, but we might as well do it because it's gonna give us more research points and we need more research po research, research, research points. Damn it. Okay. No more contract work. Develop a new game. We're gonna make a new vampire RPG.
I know that I haven't researched sequels yet, and that's actually a thing that you can do, and you could actually make an official sequel to a game. So I'm just gonna do this instead, and just make a blood letter too. It's gonna be on PC. Next, 2D graphics, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Today, Vayna has confirmed recent rumors that a new gaming console in it and announced the Master V. The company claims that the Master V is technical experience to be massively successful TES by Nintendo and plans to release it in coming months. So, what do you think that is? That's obviously the Sega. It's, it's a Sega. Okay. Uh. Alright, I think that works, definitely. Now this game is not always supposed to be like a big money maker game, but it's supposed to give us research points, is basically what it's gonna do. It's gonna give us research points to work with. Damn, high design. Damn. Good technology too. Really good technology. Okay. We're good. Release game. Your first use for a newly released game, Blood Letter. Blood. 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 <laughs> blood Letter 2 came in. I need to read and speak like this from now on. I like it. Could have been better. Eight? No. Seven. Damn it. Damn it, all games. Fuck you. Okay. Today, the new game platform Master V by Lena has been released. Oh, guys, I'm checking one of my files here, so I want to see if I can check how long this recording has been going on, because I forgot to check the time. So I'm not currently in my window. Let's see. If I cannot check how long this, this recording has been going, that kind of sucks. Well, I think I'll drag this on about mm, 20 more minutes, maybe. Can't have been that long, because I only woke up like an hour ago. Uh, I'll give it like 10 more minutes, and I think that'll be the end of the first episode, and maybe I'll record the second episode from there. Industry news. The recently released gaming console, Master V by Thena, has released has stir has released has stirred up the market worldwide. Industry experts say the console is not very well marketed in North America, but that will flourish in other parts of the world. <clears throat> I find contract work. Design some game characters. Play this game. Okay. It's easy. So now all I 
let's research. Create a custom game engine. Fuck yes. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay, yeah. That journey had like 136,000 something in sales. Not interesting, really. Successfully research custom game engine. New research available. Game tutorials and mono sound. Let's generate a game report for Blood, Le Blood Letter 2. Blood Letter 2. Ugh. Our post release analysis of Blood Letter 2 is complete. We've got the following results. World design seems to be very important for this type of game. We kind of already knew that, but okay. Okay. Game tutorials, mono sound, this is all very important. So let's find some contract work. I think we could do that. I won't scratch your head for several weeks, man. Gotta get into this. See? You scratch your head for a week, man. No. Contract failed. We could afford to uh, lose a little bit of money at this point. Just do that because we can. I mean, like, we're probably gonna fail it, but we can afford to lose a little bit of money right now. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. I still believe in you. I still believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you. Yay! I mean, I, I would have stopped believing in if you if you didn't get that. But okay. Hmm. So let's research. Target audience could be quite important, but casual games. No, no casual games. Game tutorials is, could be cool and important. Fuck, think how hard that must have been. Video games before game tutorials. Well, I mean, unless it's a really simple video game, but like, some, a video game that's complex that has no game tutorials. Fuck. Well, I guess that's a lot of, like, indie games now today. It's basically you jump in and, like, you just kind of figure out everything for yourself because there is no tutorial involved. You know what, let's make a vampire-based Master Tales game. It's not going to be a vampire RPG, it's going to be a medieval RPG. But it's going to be named Vampiria, because why not? Next. 2D graphics. That works. Might as well make some more money and generate a bit more research before we make our engine. We want our engine to include, like, everything possible for this generation. This engine is just gonna kick ass. Take a new game platform. Gameling is by an invent- By an invento has been released. So... That's pretty much the game- That's- That is the Game Boy. Okay, that works. This Master Kills game delves into the land of the vampires. Vampiria. It sounds like like the cheesiest name for an RPG game, but whatever, it works. It kind of sounds cool, so whatever. So cliche. <laughs> oh, the first name, Ice Spire, I guess was quite quite cliche as well. 
How many times has that been used? Ice Spire. Probably way too- Vampiria has probably been used a shit ton too, though. First reviews for a newly released game, The Master Tales Vampiria came in. Oh, yeah! So in about five minutes, I'll end off this episode. I'm trying to time my episodes now so it just doesn't go on for like... fucking two hours. Played it for days. With a growing interest in video games, there is, all, there is also a growing audience for video game magazines. These magazines offer a great way for new developers to market their upcoming games. New research available. Marketing. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Master Tales Vampiria is quite successful. I mean, nothing amazingly substantial, but okay so far. Nothing ridiculous, but it's okay. It's doing pretty well. Okay. Research. Target audiences. If you have more than one, if you have more than one million in cash, you will be able to move to the next level. This might sound like a lot, but don't worry. Once you release a hit game, you will get this get to this amount easily. Vina, creator of the Master V, con ma ma Master V, yeah, has announced the Vina Gear, a portable console to directly compete with it against the Game Link from Nintendo. Spokesperson for the company said, unlike similar devices on the market, which don't come close to gaming consoles, the Vena Gear has basically the full power of the Master V. You can take it with you. The Vena Gear also has a full color screen. Will this device topple the gaming? We will see. The Vena Gear will debut in two months. You've successfully re 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 researched target audience. Okay. Find contract work. Library software. It's fine. Master Tales Vampiria is now off the market. It's sold 32,288 units, generating 226,037 in sales. Wanted. We'll transfer 13k to your account. Character design? Why not? Try to get 15 research points. Thank you for the quick work. Okay. Find more contract work. I think I think we might be able to manage that. The new game platform, Vena Gear by Vena, has been has just been released. Nope. Develop one more new game. Develop a game for young audiences. You know what? Luton and and not uh, and shooting. This is gonna be a pirate simulation game on the fucking uh, 
Davina gear, because why not? Pirate simulation. The platform. Davina gear is doing pretty well, right? I don't know, the game thing is more the market share. Graphics. The story and quest and more engine in the gameplay. Looting and shooting. I mean, that's like really stupid, but it's kind of cool and it would be good for young audiences, I think. In two months, she will be taking off the market. Basically, I'm just making this game because I need more research points to research what I want. So, I figured I might as well just make a little game that's kind of stupid and sell it off. And who knows, it might even make a lot of money. Yeah, right, we haven't unlocked the market yet. Horror manufacturers around the world were surprised as the Govador, creator of the popular G64, has filed for bankruptcy. Damn. Govador failed to introduce a higher priced alternative and was forced to shut down production of the G64. The platform will retire from the market early next year. Alright, so after we finish this game, and finish up on our research, uh, that will be the end of this episode. G64 is no longer supported. It's already a couple minutes past what time I wanted it to be for the end. Not bad. Not bad, Bill. Release game. First use for a new, newly released game, Lootin' and Shootin' it came in. Oh god, it's gonna be horrible, isn't it? Hey! It's not all that bad! Damn it. Alright. Not too bad, though. Not too bad at all. For a game night, just kind of screwed around and just said, okay, we're just going to do this because we need experience or research points. Yeah, did pretty well. And right after this, as soon as uh, we have a little bit of money from, from game sales, I'll immediately go into crediting the engine. Alright, nice. We have some money to work with. Wylerian works V1. New graphics V2, LES, linear story, save game, game tutorials, mono sound. Yes. 2D graphics V2. Loot in June has achieved the company sales record of over 50k units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of Wylerian games. Oh, so it's doing pretty okay. Ugh. Bees. Decrypt. Is there a special offer or res- Yeah, no. Now off the market, it sold 57,447 units, generating 402,171 in sales.
Oh yes, research dungeons. Dungeon games. Well anyway, uh guys, I think this will be the end of the end of this episode. So, thank y'all for watching. This has been Wilderell playing game game dev tycoon. Now I want you guys to tell me what you think of this game, because I actually quite enjoy it and it's easy to make videos on. So I wouldn't mind doing a full series of this game. Uh tell me guys tell tell me what you guys think in the comment section. Uh like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you enjoyed the commentary. And I will be back to see you guys again. Bye-bye.